Okay, Edna, remember, if you can teach one kid one thing, then today will be a success. Now class. Class! Cell phones in schools. Everywhere you look, students are carrying these mobile electronic devices. If they don't have one, they want one. They use them to communicate with friends and parents. Texting is a way of life for this generation. And through this medium, they are communicating with purpose, like never before. Through the internet and mass media, they are creating a shifting paradigm and a challenge for teachers worldwide. Children, why do you all need cell phones? Safety. Emergency. Safety. Educational. Could you at least set them to vibrate? That's it. Everything in the box. No more gizmos in this class. Banned. Gizmos, gadgets, toys, or tools. Schools are laying down the law all across the nation and banning cell phones as a policy. Frustrated teachers like Mrs. Krabappel continually confiscate and work to eliminate this technology from their classrooms. For digital natives, the message is that school is no place for cell phones. Okay, we'll call your bluff. Teach us, using only the knowledge in your own head. For real-life teachers, the challenges facing the 21st century learner are no laughing matter. Students are more disengaged and non-receptive to the traditional classroom setting. No longer is it just about pen and paper. They demand to be plugged in and to work in an engaging, collaborative manner. Students want access to information, technology, and of course, their cell phones. With an estimated 15 and a half million teenagers between the ages of 13 and 17 already with their own cell phones, banning their use in school is a lot like an idea they had in another generation. Banning bubble gum. Nice idea. Never really worked. I think it may be a losing battle. Eugene Sanders runs the Cleveland, Ohio City School System where cell phones are banned. Mr. Sanders, good morning. Good morning. You don't tend to intend to lose this battle. In fact, you don't even allow cell phones into school buildings. No cell phones in the buildings. That's it. And that's not going to change in Cleveland. The Saranac Lake Central School Board agrees. It imposed a district-wide ban on cell phone usage by students during school hours. Principal Bruce Van Wielden says Saranac Lake High School already had a policy in place, but thinks a district policy is better. During school hours, cell phones cannot be used during lunch hour, between classes, or on school buses unless permission is given by a supervisor. Students are allowed to bring their phones to school. They just need to be turned off and put away. We'd like to see them secured, like in their lockers, out of sight, in backpacks and things like that. Ban or no ban, kids will find a way texting under their desks, behind their back, or even in their pocket. Could be their teacher who's texting them. A lot of school systems ban cell phones for very good reason in classrooms, but some are starting to work them into the curriculum. Orlando Salinas is live in Miami. Orly, most of the time we hear about public schools having a zero tolerance policy, uh, and most parents want them to have a zero tolerance policy. Called Wiregrass High School. Now, this school is only about three years old, and I can tell you this school is not afraid of technology. Now, what happens here is the students at this school, they're allowed to bring their cell phones. They have to register their cell phones at the school. And the teacher in each classroom has a phone list. Uh, for example, the teacher in some cases will send out a text to the phones of the students in her classroom. They have to answer by text. In this case, while we were there, text, pictures. The bottom line is you have to have an answer. You go ahead and text that answer in. You push send, and the teacher gets that answer back. Now, the teachers also have blogs. They are putting their entire lesson plans on the Internet, and these students with their cell phones, these little mini computers, Martha, they can go ahead and access all that information if they have this special code. They do everything by phone. But when they get back into that classroom and the teacher says, turn it off, that is the bottom line. That is the bottom line. That is the bottom line. And the teacher says, turn it off. That is the bottom line. If they're caught doing something with those phones that they're not supposed to, and the principal told me it has been minuscule, the number of students who have been caught doing something they shouldn't be, 
If they do get caught, there's a warning. If it happens a second time, they'll take the phone away. Look, this school uses a lot of its own good common sense. God gave them brains. They're using them. They're not afraid of this technology at all, Martha. Needle scratch. That's right. It may seem like the Florida-based school is going against the grain, but they aren't the only ones. Schools in Maryland, Texas, Colorado, and Michigan, and all over the country are beginning to turn these toys into tools for learning. students um, traditional flashcards on paper and as they were leaving the lecture theatre they started putting them in the rubbish tin and I queried why and they said well this is great but it's not cool to use these at the bus stop people think I'm a student people think I'm a nerd so I thought well, why not deliver it on their cell phone and they took that idea instantly it was really popular <laughs> Poll Everywhere is a web-based application that allows teachers to ask directed questions as review to students while they can use their notes and cell phones to respond in a live and engaged format. Every student must take a stab at a question and therefore learning is activated. Oh, man, we are divided on this one. One great thing about Poll Everywhere is that it allows for immediate response and feedback. When asked what students thought about Poll Everywhere, they responded like this. Cool that I can actually listen to myself and here it and it plus it involves no writing or no paper so it saves a couple of trees <laughs> and and so you usually would write stuff down or do you have somebody else write stuff for you uh, it would be miss p that would be writing for me or, because my handwriting is terrible <laughs> More and more studies keep coming up showing that instant message and text speak is actually having a positive effect on kids contrary to what the media portrays. Reading scores are up, linguistics abilities and alliteration, rhyme and semantic fluency is improving. Speaking with purpose and for fun is actually showing that kids are learning language and it's also having an effect not only in reading but in math as well. Education Secretary Arne Duncan agrees and already Moodle is being used to load learning management systems for even wider mobile learning. Cal Berkeley is developing a microscope that can be put on the end of a camera phone allowing scientists and doctors even more freedom. So let's open up the doors to learning and bring cell phones in. <laughs> 